All right, guys, thank you for joining me for today's workout. This is gonna be a workout. If you don't feel like working out, this is gonna get your blood flowing. So it's just gonna be 15 minutes, dumbbells only. We've got four exercises planned. For each of those four exercises, we're gonna be working out for 20 seconds, resting for 10 seconds, and then repeating that exercise for a total of five rounds. Between each exercise, we're gonna have a round rest for 30 seconds. So we have 30 seconds to switch into our next exercise and get ready for that. I only have one pair of dumbbells. I'm just gonna be using these 20 pound dumbbells. So I'm gonna start the timer here. We're gonna start with a squat to push press. So we're starting at about 10 seconds. Let's grab those dumbbells, rack them onto our shoulders, and we're gonna start by going into our squat press. Here we go, up. So each time we're coming up and squatting down, pushing those weights back up for a total of 20 seconds. Halfway done. We wanna make sure we can rack those dumbbells right onto our shoulders and push them up and finished. We got 10 seconds of rest. If you need to put those dumbbells down, that's perfectly fine. You won't have much time though, because we're starting here again. Two, one, go. We're squatting down, pushing those weights back up. Just focus on your breathing. We don't have to go too fast, since we've got three more rounds after this. Rest. Should be starting to feel that sweat. I chose this exercise to do first because I know it's going to get us in the right mindset. Here we go. Keep pushing those weights up. Keep squatting down. If you need to, use that momentum from your squat to push one rest we got two more rounds coming up three two one let's go squatting down pushing up keep that momentum going should feel those shoulders starting to burn here if they're not already keep those legs pumping make sure that form is good one and rest. We got one more round. Three, two, one. Here we go. Last round, best round. Last set, best set. After this, we have a full 30 seconds of rest. Two, one, rest. Good job. 30 seconds, grab some water if you need it. Grab some other dumbbells if you want to. We're gonna be moving on to a row. So with that row, we're gonna hinge at our hips, keep that back nice and flat, no curving. We don't have to be perfectly parallel to the floor, but get an angle, bringing these dumbbells into our pocket. Two, one, here we go. Hinge at the hips, rowing that weight up. We're pulling from the elbow. We're gonna try to put these dumbbells into our hip pocket. Squeeze at the top, keep it going. One, and rest. Ooh, shake it off. Quick 10 second rest. Starting here, three, two, one, here we go. Rowing these weights back up. Put them in your pocket. Use those elbows to pull. Think of your hands as hooks. They're only hooks and you gotta pull up from the elbow. Put these in your pocket and rest. I always like to finish out that last rep because I don't like to cheat myself. Here we go, round three. Keep it going, should feel that sweat. If you went all out in that first exercise, you're probably feeling it now. If you come back to do, do this exercise another day, you'll know too how to pace yourself. 
and rest. We got round four and round five coming up. Starting in three, two, one. Here we go. Rowing these weights up. Hinge at those hips. Keep a slight bend in those knees. Perfectly fine. If you can, try to get these dumbbells to touch your chest. Ah. Oh. Last round coming up right here. Starting in three, two, one. Here we go. If at any point you need to change the weights out, go down or go up, that's perfectly fine. Gauge your intensity. Just remember, we got five rounds for each of these exercises. Ah, oh, good, 30 second rest. And then we're moving down onto the floor for our floor press. This is gonna be working our chest and triceps. So we're set up down on the ground. Feet can be up perfectly fine. Here we go. We're pushing these weights up. Remember, gauge that intensity. Find your rhythm. We don't have to go super fast or all out because of that minimal rest time and how many rounds there are. That's doing it for us. And rest. Oh. If you're talking to someone, should be out of breath by now. Hard to keep this pace up while still talking. Should feel that breath getting heavy. For this one, make sure our elbows aren't chicken winging far out. Make sure they're not too close in. We want about a 45 degree angle. Here we go. Keep pushing those weights up. If you need to change to a heavier set of weights, you can do that for our next rest period. These 20s are feeling pretty heavy for me right now. Finish out. How many more do we have? We're gonna be doing round four next. And then round five. Here we go. Try to keep that head pressed against the floor. Don't let it rise up too much, especially if you have neck problems. I have a bad habit of taking my head off the ground. And rest. About to start round five after this rest period and then moving on to our last exercise already. Here we go. Keep pushing. If there are days you don't feel like working out, come back to this video. This is a nice, simple, quick, and effective workout. 30 seconds of rest. Cherish these moments. 30 seconds have never felt so short. And then we're moving on to our final exercise, skier swings. So the way we set that up, we've got those dumbbells in our hand at our side. We're gonna hinge our hips back, thrust these weights up, control them on the way down, back up, use that momentum from your hips. Here we go, and begin. Back and forward. This is mainly a glute exercise, working on that hip hinge movement but if you lower these weights and control them a little bit on the way down, you should feel that core activating. And rest. Ah. Remember, you're doing the exercise. Exercise not doing you. Control these weights. Control these reps. Here we go. Thrusting up. Find that balance at the top. Good. You can have a slight knee bend 
as these weights come down, you don't want to keep your legs too straight. Protect those hamstrings. But you do want to focus on thrusting your hips through. And rest. So see if swings are just like kettlebell swings. Only difference is one's at the side and one is through the middle. Here we go. These 10 seconds feel so short. Keep powering through. This is round three. And rest. We're about to start round four in three, two, one. Here we go. If you guys like these workouts, if you could drop a like, tell me what your favorite exercise we did today was. Give me a like on the video. If I haven't said that already, I think I might have. And feel free to subscribe too. Share this with a friend, family member on Instagram. Here we go. Last round. Let's go. If you guys share any of my stuff on Instagram and tag me, there is a 99% chance I will see it and a 99% chance that I mention you in my story as well. Three, two, one, and rest. Oh. There we go, guys. Finished the workout. Under 15 minutes. Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed this dumbbell only workout. I will see you guys for the next workout. Have a good one, guys. Yeah.